Welcome back to CAD Jungle. In today's quick exercise, we're going to be modeling this tapered arm from this 2D drawing. And let's give a shout out for Too Tall Toby from where I got this 2D drawing. Let's get started. Select the top view. Let's change the units to inches. Create a new component and give it a name. Create a sketch in the visible plane. Let's create a line. Make it a construction line. Add dimensions. Select the midpoint constraint. Select this line and a center point. And that's directly in the center of that point. Containing the profile, let's add two circles. Turn off construction, of course. We're gonna be adding dimensions using radius. And if it doesn't show up, select D for dimension. Left click, and then right click, radius. Add a radius. Same thing for this circle as well. Select the line command, left click, drag and hold, and attach it to this circle until you see the tangent constraint. Same thing for the bottom. It's fully defined. want it at an offset plane we're going to offset it about one inch we're going to create a sketch on a plane we just created we're going to make sure that the sketch is still visible because we're going to be using these two points where the centers are as our reference we're going to create two more circles Going to be adding dimensions. Select the D command. Once again, select the line command. Make both lines tangent to the circles. And we can now finish the sketch. To give us the tapered effect, let's go ahead and use the loft command. Select the profiles, select the top first, then the bottom. And it gives us the shape we want. And finishing the shape. Let's select the sketch command, top face, and let's create a series of circles. Circles don't show up where we can add a center point because I assume we were able to do this with the art, but it doesn't show up. Not a problem. We can once again, bring back any one of those two sketches. Select this sketch here, select the center point, And instead of making it a radius, we'll start out just making it a diameter. We'll do the same for this circle. We're going to extrude both circles. Select extrude command. We want to extrude this first circle. 0.125. Bring back the sketch and extrude this second circle once again. To 0.25. Turn off the sketches. We're going to be using the hole command to create holes for both of these. Let's turn off all sketches. Actually. Make sure it snaps into the center. 
distance is going to be set to all. We want the width to be 1.25 inches in diameter. Select the whole command once again. And we'll do the same thing for this circle and we'll make it smaller. Grab it, lock it into place. Distance will be set to all as well. Create a sketch once again on this top face. We're going to create the profile we need to give us the inside cutout section. To do this, Select the offset command. Select this edge. We want to offset it 0.125. Let's make it construction. We'll do the same thing for the circle here. Offset command, construction. Select the circle, 0.125. Let's use the offset command. Select this edge here, and bring it in. And we want it to be 0.25, negative 0.25. Now we got what we want. Specifically, we want this section on the inside. Now let's work with that. Select the line command, turn off construction. Well, actually, let's go ahead and work with the three point arc first. Select this point here and these points here where they intersect. This point here and this point here where it intersects. Grab the concentric constraint, select this arc and this circle locks into place. This circle and this arc locks into place and it won't move. Select the line command, make sure construction is turned off. Select this point here and this point here. Let's make sure it locks into place. Although it's blue, it's actually locked into place. So it is constrained and fully defined. Select this edge here and that edge there. We'll check to make sure it won't move. It's locked into place. We cannot move it. Finish the sketch. Select extrude command. And let's extrude it negative 0.5. Let's add a set of fillets. First fillet we're going to add, it's going to be the inside of here. Make it 0.2 inches. Last set of fillets, we're going to fillet the entire object. Zero one five, and that completes this quick exercise. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick exercise. Stick around, and I shall see you in the next video.